Mag? Oké, okay. hallo, I'm Diane. Uh, I'm back. En ja, uh, yeah, for this time I want a little bit shorter and a lighter color. Yeah, we want to get a spring hairstyle. <laughs> Will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what you have now? <laughs> and we started by taking off some colors. So that's what we're first going to do. Hello friends on YouTube, I'm going to do a hair and we will we'll make a spring hairstyle so the color will be lighter, will be more sparkling and that's where I start with, I'm starting with protection for decoloring, I will create a color off product. This product is from Rovra, I'll show you how to do that. Of course I start with my protection as always. And the color off products are the most safest product to, to get uh, colors out of your hair. It breaks down the old colors that are still in the hair and the pigments of it. So that's why they don't go into uh, the, the yellow tones anymore. This product comes in two bottles and you take of every bottle the same amount. It smells uh, a bit like rotten eggs with a little bit perfume in it. But when you're working with it, you don't uh, smell it anymore. You just at start, this I mix. And then I put a plastic foil on, put my gloves on, and I apply it. Applying the color off, it's a bit like a milky product, and it works very easy. You don't have to do anything, just put it on. Leave it on for about 15 till 20 minutes and then most of the pigments are that much uh, bring down that you can color afterwards. Now I have all the product on. This has to stay on for uh, 15 till 20 minutes so I just lay to don't drop into her face a carton wick. Then I close my plastic foil and I wait that time. And then I'm back. back, uh, recoloring, and you see that a lot of color is already off. We get now a nice, nice gold tone. Now I'm first going to cut it and then I will color it with a conditioner. Of course I start with protection, like I always do. The rest I will be not ultra short, so just nicely cut. Holding a strong line on this side. This side will be nice flowing, so there's no hard line in it. Just showing a natural, nice hairstyle. Starting on top, take it in an angle. And work this till I get on the back. Angle is about uh, 45 degrees. Lay down back, go back to the first line, find my connection and go over to the back again. Coming to section 3, this is my first section, second and my third sec section. And here I stay working in a straight line, so that's what I hold more length on this side. Working like a clock on the back of her head. Now go back to the front and put in a point cut technique and do this only on my first section because then I can hold the line on the side ultra it's soft
coming to the sides, lifting the hair up, turn it a bit, and put it to the back. Later, natural falling. So lift it up. Stay working in the point cut technique. So it creates an ultra soft connection from the upper hair to the under hair. Take every time about a centimeter hair. Using the roundings of the skull. Take one part above it, take it to the center line and connect that also. Later over, watch its chin line, copy that line into my hairstyle. Softly cleaning the contour. Lay it to the back and now you see that this line is ultra soft, there's no hard line in it anymore. The same I do on the back of her head. Start on the skull bone with small pond cut. I work down. Every time lay the hair in a fall. Go one step higher and only take off the part that needs to be connected. not much but it's a lot of difference especially when you want to hold it in soft lines see how wonderful the hair flows coming out the back again lift the hair up now I hold as much length on top as I can what I want to create some volume on the back still working from the right side to the left so lay all the hair in that fall and also working in the point cut technique and now uh, smoothly moving my fingers in a horizontal line so I will create a new hard line on her left side And that hard line is starting on the center line of the skull and also the center of the skull bone. So here you create a new strong line. I can show you that. You can see it here. Go about two centimeters above that and then point cut. I connect them to each other again. Still bending the hair from the right side to the left. Now Diana wants a transparent color and this color is already transparent because I took out all the hard colors that were in her hair. And you see how wonderful the condition still is because I didn't do anything, just rinse it out. So that's why I will give her a conditioner on a copper base, she wants a copper color. And I show you also how wonderful the, the coloring of a copper conditioner color is. Okay, you apply it on dry hair, you leave it on for 20 minutes and then you just rinse it out and it stays in your hair for about uh, four or five times washing. You can always repeat that way of working so you can do it at home. You bring on a comb, uh, some conditioner, uh, comb it through your dry hair, leave it on for 20 minutes and just rinse it out and you have again a wonderful copper tone.
but I'll show you afterwards. Now I've got myself a wonderful volume line and still soft on this side so I have a wonderful flow on the hair. Coming to her left side. Bending her ear to the front. Make a nice soft connection to the part behind the ear. Just leaving as much volume as I can on this line. I think in summertime we will do something with this line. And this line I bring back to the back by lifting it up to the ear. Laying the ear down. Softly combing because ears are soft projects <laughs> on the head, so you don't have to pull them off with your comb. And some combs are very hard. Shining through the line, you can see the line that's beneath it. Leaving the front as long as I can. Gently go to the part on the ear. Again lay it down. It's always hard to work in a position where it normally wouldn't be. Because you are watching at my position now. Yeah, that's a bit lost there. Take out the clipper. And now the same I do on this side. I get my guideline on the contour and in a point cut technique I'm leaving some as much volume as I can. Working up but now I'm bending the hair to the back so it gives a natural fall to the hair. And gently let the hair slip between my fingers, not too fast. Just in the way I cut the hair I gently slip back so I get more length on top than I have on the bottom. I have also hunger. I don't know if it ever is. It was nice to call that it's like. Yeah, is it? Nicely make a connection from the front again to the back. I can see that it flows wonderfully into each other. Adding scissor over comb technique, just gently working up. Holding the lines ultra soft. It's of course, a wonderful um, practice for your skills. Let your thumb through the, the cutting. Leaning on the hairs. Set them straight up as I like them. And work till I get on the strong line. Ja, dat klopt. Dat is ook zeker als je als de zaak gewoon loopt, dan heb je helemaal deze geluiden niet. Nee. Want er wordt gewoon over, overstemd door alle geluiden van de zaak. Je hoeft er maar één die achter de deur te gaan zitten praten en het is al weg. Ja. En dan hoor je eigenlijk alleen maar stemmen en zoveel ja, mensen. Ja, klopt. Maar... Terwijl juist in die rust heel lekker is. 
Maar ik denk wel eens, uh, als ik een combinatie weet te maken tussen bijvoorbeeld uh, de geluiden van uh, de Waal bijvoorbeeld, mm -hmm. met de achtergrond samen, dat dat wel ook heel rustgevend is. Ja, ik denk het ook wel. Uh... Dan kom je toch in een ritme, want water heeft ook een ritme. Ja, dat is denk ik voor jou misschien nog wel makkelijk als je een beetje... Ja, dat je een beetje beweging ritme, of een beetje uh... geluid hebt, ja. Coming at the front. Holding the lines real soft. Holding the comb in the position of the eyebrows. And softly work to the back. Is dat een lange film dan? Of? Ja, valt mee. Ik denk, ja, ze worden voor mij vanzelf lang eigenlijk. <laughs> ik hou niet zo van korte filmpjes. Nee, ik heb dat wel geprobeerd in het verleden, maar dat brengt oh ja. helemaal niks. De mensen willen toch die lange filmpjes uh, Ja, interessanter. Zien? Het zijn gewoon leuker om naar te kijken, denk ik. Ja, ja, voor mensen die het echt willen leren, die missen dan ook een ja, deel van het uh, ja, leerproces. Ja, ja, die hebben daar het meest aan natuurlijk. Ja. Er schiet ze helemaal niks meer op dat er een kort filmpje op staat. The small side of my comb. I do the front of the side beard. And with my ultra small comb and clipper, I will clean the contour. Nee, dat is ook leuk. Uh... En dan weten we dat er ook heel veel mensen gewoon voor hun rust naar kijken. Mm -hmm. Is dat ook gewoon heel fijn als je er gewoon heel rustig kunt bekijken. Yeah. Take away the small hairs that in the running of the ear. Mostly there are hairs in that running. Set out the contour line and connect them to the hairs. Get rid of some facial hairs. Just take off the contour line, make that nice and clean, and holding the lines ultra soft, so don't make hard lines in it. It will be an ultra short feminine hairstyle. Ja, als dat dan net een belangrijk stukje is, dan... Uh, ja, dan moet je er gewoon nu doen. Ja. Create an ultra soft bang. Just nicely flowing to the back. This kind of hairstyle suits her hair wonderfully, because she has wonderful soft hair. Her hair is wonderful to, to feel. The way it slides through your fingers, it is wonderful. So now it's ready to get a copper conditioner on it. So that I'm going to make for her. What I put on is a copper conditioner of uh, Lakme. So I don't need uh, clubs to work with. Just do the conditioner into uh, a bowl. You can also do it with your hands if you want to. But as a hairdresser, I mostly do it the way I color hair with uh, color. I'm leaving out the sides a bit. I only want to show you how wonderful you can color hair with a conditioner. 
and how wonderful the, the hair responds on that because you hold the maximum uh, quality of your hair and you don't have any problems when you want to color back to another color so it's always the best way to uh, do a between coloring so if she wants to get to ultra blonde in the summer we can So we zijn hè, platina Ja. Zou je dat willen, een keer? Ja, misschien in de zomer wel. Uh... Het is wel leuk, en dan moet je het vooral in de zomer doen, dat is echt super leuk. Het is denk ik ook wel heel mooi met het uh, zonlicht. Uh... Ja, dat is echt super leuk. Talking about maybe she gets the next time uh, uh, ultra bright blonde color. I give her this conditioner even to support her hair at home. When you apply it on dry hair, of course the color is uh, much stronger than when you do it on uh, wet hair. Because then you thin it a lot. And the nice thing is there is no ammonia, nothing in it that can damage the hair. Het is wel uh, een uur of één uur. Dat is een goede biologische klok. <laughs> ja, die gaat wel bij mij. <laughs> Meestal moet ik echt eten dan hoor. Ja. Yeah. This was about uh, two eat, uh, eating spoons uh, of conditioner on dry hair. Now I come it back in the position where it lays in. Then I can make a soft connection to the hairs I leaving out of coloring. So just take this part and give it a slight touch of this uh, conditioner. Now I'll wait for 20 minutes, then I'll ri just rinse it out, nothing more than that. I'm going to show you the end result of uh, this most wonderful natural hairstyle. Go back. Now I just get to dry it. You see that it's a wonderful soft shade of copper. Uh, what I use is natural boost of uh, Lakme. Something like a ping pong ball. The nice thing about the products of Lac May is that they smell wonderful uh, like springtime. I love it a lot. It is an ultra soft styling product. Color blow dry just but uh, use my fingers. And that to hold the natural lines in it. I don't want to force anything.
so far blow dry. Okay, here I still have cold. <coughs> now I use a crystal turn. It's a product of Goldwell. The nice thing about crystal turn is that it's gel wax. It don't uh, grease the hair, just give out a playable effect. You can restyle it as often as you want. Um, and if you, if you wash your hair once a week, it's still not a greasy hairstyle. I like a lot the tones of the colors that are in her hairstyle. And I love the natural lines she has now. And I don't want to make it too stiff, so just give it a playable effect. And the playable effect gives also nice the colors back. So you can see the range of colors there, made by the conditioner. The small clipper, I clean the neckline a bit. And this is Diane's new hairstyle and soft color. Yeah! Heel ondeugend dit. Super leuk. Zo'n messy boy. Ben benieuwd. Ben benieuwd. Ja, staat je heel mooi. Oké Diana, je mag je turn voor jou en de rest van de wereld en show the end result. Thank you for being model again. Thank you. You're welcome.